So I'm back with another poly matter type infographics in DaVinci Resolve. And this is the one that I'm going to show you how to create. So let's begin. Now let's drag in a fusion composition and head over to it and drag a background, connect the background to the media out. And from here, just go over to the type and change this to gradient. Change the gradient type to radial and then move this right in the center like this. Now in the first one, just change this to red and the second one, go ahead and make sure that this is also in the red position. So make sure that you change these to zero, green and blue, and then slightly just change this to, let's say 0 0.4, like this, the red to 0 0.4. Now just make sure that you select your background and then press control space and search for grid. Now this is how the grid will appear, but we're going to reduce the size of this. We're going to reduce the columns for this as well. Over here, you will see that we have row cells. Just make sure that you change this to six, change the column cells to six as well, and then change the major line spacing to zero. Now keep the line color as it is and just hide this one. We're going to be working with the transform controls. So let's just change the zoom right here so at 0 0.5 this looks fine and here we have our basic grid done now what you need to do is add some text so drag in this text from here and then connect it with the grid one here i'm going to add the values for the y-axis and change the font to this consolas and this is the kind of font that they use and change this to regular so this is the kind of font that polymatter mostly uses now change the size to 0 0.3 and also change the edge anchor to this right and now you can position this right here but we need to add some line spacing so let's go over to line spacing and then change this right here all right and now we need to add the text for our x-axis so once again drag the text and then connect it to the merge one and over here i'm just going to type in this text and these are the years so same thing go ahead change this to consolas and regular change the size to 0 0.03 and slightly move this up so go ahead in the transform and from here change the transform from characters to words and now if you change the spacing, you will see we are able to add spacing between the text. So this is how you can add text for your graph as well. So now we need to add a line. So go ahead, add this polygon and this background. Connect them. And in the polygon, let's just remove this. And in the background, let's change this to yellow, but like slightly. Then go over here and then make sure that this is a bit light. So let's connect this to the merge tool. And in the polygon, let's go over to solid and unselect this and change the border width to 0 0.005. So let's add our lines. So let's zoom in. And from here, I'm going to add this line like this. Just like this. So here we have our line done. And you can go over to the background. So let's slightly move this back to a little bit dark like this and here we have our line and now make sure you select your background and then press Control space and search for drop shadow and from here you will see we have this drop shadow appearing but we need to change some settings so go ahead and change the blur to zero point let's say three and let's go ahead and change the drop distance right beneath this line so that this is close and let's also change the drop angle to 25 all right and this looks fine so if we go over here to this polygon you can slightly move this up so that this is within the graph and from here as well make sure that this is within the graph and this looks fine and now we're going to animate this so go ahead add let's say 100 Create a keyframe at length and then go over at zero, change this to zero. Then click on spline and then select your 
keyframes and hit S on the keyboard. And if we play this, this is how it will look. All right, and now let's add our text. Another text and just connect this right here. And from here, let's just type in any text. Then this will be the heading for the graph. And once again, change the font like this. And I'm going to add another text and connect it with the merge four. And let's move this right here and change this to zero point zero three and also the color let's change this slightly so this looks fine and now for the 3d animation what we need to do is just go back to the main timeline and from here create a copy by pressing alt on the keyboard and then dragging this composition up so we will have this copy for this and now let's head back to the one at the bottom and from here select everything except for the background that we created and then hit backspace and everything is gone so why did we do that well you will see let's go back to the main timeline and here you will see that we still have that but this time go back to the one at the top the one that we just created and from here let's go over to background and change this back to solid color and then change the alpha to zero and if you go back to the main timeline you will see that we get that but this time if you go over back into the composition that we have on top now we will be able to add 3d animation in this so otherwise we will be messing up the background as well so this is a way that we do this so make sure that you just drag in this image plane and also while you have the selected press control space and then search for render 3d now connect your merge 5 to image plane and then the render to media out and this is how it looks now select your image plane and then go over to the settings right here in the transform and change the z-axis so that this is visible once again and from here we can start the animation so let's go over here at zero and change the x-axis in this rotation part so let's change this to somewhere around here create keyframes at x and y and then go over at the all the way to the end and then change the y like this and the x also so if we go back to the main timeline and now you will see that it won't affect the background so there you can see if you play this this looks perfect so this is it this is how you can create these infographics like poly matter in davinci resolve i hope this video was helpful and i'll see you in the next one